So here I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can turn in your artwork to me by attaching a photo when you turn it in. So here is just an example of one of my Google Classrooms. And you're going to find your assignment under Classwork. And then you're going to find our current week, which is week six. And you're going to find your assignment under that week. So our assignment this week is Mary Blair's Castle. When you click on it, you'll click down here and you'll see view assignment because this is mine I, it says edit assignment but you're going to click view assignment and I'll show you on this other tab on a different uh, Google Classroom just an example so here you're going to find your week and then your assignment you're going to click on that and you're going to click on view assignment once you have clicked on that, you're going to go over here on the right side under your work. You're going to click on this white button that says plus sign, add, or create. When you click on it, you can click file or you can click docs, this blue button. So I'm going to show you how to do the docs first. So this is one way you can upload a photo. Once you've created the doc, you're going to click on it and it's going to take you to the Google document where you can add a photo on this document by clicking this button at the top that says insert under insert you're going to click on the first button that says image and over on the side of image you're going to click on camera when you see that it allows you to open up the camera from your laptop and you can take a photo right from here so I'm going to take a photo, hold my drawing or my artwork up, and I'm going to click the yellow capture button. So you can see here I have my photo, and I'm going to click this button that says insert. So now my photo is inserted on this Google document. I can drag the corner of the photo so it gets bigger, so you can see it more clearly. And once you have it here, it automatically saves. So here you can say, see it's already saved. So if I go back to the other tab here, this Google document is already in here. So then you can go ahead and turn it in. And any edits that you make in here is going to reflect on whatever I see when I go in and check your work. Now that's one way you can create, um, you can attach your photo and turn it into me. Another way, instead of doing that, you can, before you go into Google Classroom, you're going to go at the bottom of your screen and click the start button at the bottom or you might have a magnifying glass. You're going to click on that uh, search bar and you're going to type out camera to search the camera app on your computer. So my camera app might look different from yours, but most laptops or computers should have this and you're going to click on the camera app then your camera is going to come on to the screen here and when your camera is on you're going to click a photo click this take photo button on the side but make sure you hold up your artwork again so I can see what you've done and you're going to click here for taking your photo then you can exit out from this screen from your camera and then you're going to come back to our Google Classroom you're going to click this plus button add or create and instead of clicking docs this time you'll click file this paperclip button and then from here you can click upload and then you'll click this blue browse button after that it's going to pop up a screen where you will choose your photo from one of your folders So here I'm going to see my pictures folder and usually anything taken from your camera is under the camera roll. And so here I can see the photo that I took of my castle artwork and I'm going to open that and it's going to upload automatically into your assignment. So that's another way you can upload your work. It doesn't have to be both as long as you have one of your photos is uploaded. After that you can click this black turn in button and I will see your work and I will grade it from there. So make sure you know how to do this. If you need help, you can watch this video again or ask your family members for some help.